Burgers are probably one of the favorites when it comes to quick eats, but dealing with extra calories could make the health conscious take a second look. One burger shop, however, thought of a way to make better burgers. Hi, I'm Darren Mateo. I manage and own Good Burgers. Uh, Good Burgers started 12 years ago, so uh, um, this is the, actually the height of the Mad Cow Scare. And we are thinking of alternatives to our regular fast food and regular burgers. At that time, there were already Bourbon burgers present at the market and we wanted to do something different. So we opted for um, chicken burgers. Gourmet burgers have been around for a while, but there's never been a burger as good as Good Burgers. Dara made certain that they would introduce something more unique and healthier at the same time. Of course, she made sure to do that without sacrificing the juicy, filling sensation of eating a burger. We were the only ones that offered grilled chicken burgers and not sandwiches. These are ground chicken, unlike the others which are breast fillet that are either fried or grilled. Ours still had a similar texture and taste and look as the regular burgers that you would buy in other places. We named it Good Burgers because it was more of a good description of the burgers we were offering. These were healthy burgers, uh, basically chicken, lean chicken burgers that we grill. Of course, health is not the only concern for Good Burgers. Another ace up its sleeve is its wide range of choices. We have 12 variants. Um, it comes in a customized pandesal bun, so you have an option to choose between the regular pandesal and the wheat pandesal for those who are going more healthy. And then uh, we have two types of patties. You can choose between the chicken and the vegetarian patty. We've prepared um, some of our best sellers. So you would see these come in foil uh, packs. This is how we pack it so that you keep the freshness in. It's always hot. So we have the bacon mozzarella. I think this comes in better size. Cheesy mushroom for the good size. Persian burger, the BLT best size. You'd see it's really uh, bigger. And then we also have the margarita burger vegetarian. So all of the burgers come in either vegetarian or chicken patties, depending on your choice. For sides, we also have um, our regular wedge fries. So these are uh, not your typical fries. These are the bigger types of fries. And then uh, we also have our chicken chips, which is a combination of chicken and uh, chicken poppers and our wet fries. It comes with aioli sauce, which is more like garlic sauce. It comes in our takeout bag. And uh, you have a choice for the condiments. So for the best size, uh, it comes in two patties. We have the BLT as an example. You would see it comes with our customized pandesal buns, our veggies, uh, because it's really hot, it becomes wilted, and then our, um, the condiments, the other condiments that go with it. Since their menu is meant for takeout and quick eat customers, it's a challenge to keep the food fresh. Luckily, it wasn't that hard for Dara to find a solution. All patties and vegetables are delivered daily. So actually, for the vegetables, it's every other day. These are uh, Baguio and Trinidad Valley vegetables that are delivered fresh from the provinces. And then our patties and sauces are delivered every day. So these are made every day. Uh, the stores use stocks for like uh, an, a day or a day and a half at the most. And everything is cooked upon order only. So all well, the patties are fresh. The buns are fresh, the vegetables are fresh. Well, it saves us uh, from wastage because we wanted everything hot. I mean, I as a customer would prefer eating something that is freshly cooked. Now, you may think that vegan burgers are almost everywhere, but before it caught on, Good Burgers already capitalized on the health benefits tied with going meatless. We introduced the vegetarian patties four years after we opened. Because um, after the Mad Cow Scare, there was the avian flu. So we wanted to introduce an alternative. If initially, that was our main motivation. To, to introduce an alternative to chicken. And then, um, since the avian flu never really flew in the Philippines, I mean, uh, we then um, kept the vegetarian burgers. And then, I think 
two or three years after na lang nag-catch on ng vegetarian food in the Philippines. It wasn't really that um, best-selling. It wasn't a fast-moving item at first. But eventually it caught on. So we're, we're pretty happy that it did. And since vegetarians started catching on, Dara still made it a point for the Good Burgers experience to be a unique one, starting with the quality of their vegan patties. Ours is um, gluten-free, so you don't have the chewy texture. It's similarly seasoned as our chicken patties, but I, I think the texture, you lack the, the grit of ground chicken. The, our vegetarian patties is more like, um, I would say, spam or luncheon meat. Uh, it's very similar to that when you bite into it. One thing you'll notice when you eat in one of their branches is that their place is not as big and cluttered as the bigger fast food places. Dara believes that not only does it cost less, but it also adds to the Good Burgers experience. At first, um, we wanted it simple. I think that's basically it because you have smaller operations, you have smaller costs. It's easier to handle since I'm the one who manages it by myself. We wanted something that is easy to to maintain, easy to operate, plus um, the the rent is smaller. <laughs> it's much cheaper that way. And then we just added motorcycles to deliver. I think it's also because of convenience for customers. Um, it, it's easier for everyone. For a relatively small chain of restaurants, Dara's Good Burgers has gotten somewhat of a cult following. She insists that the burger chain's fan base not only keeps them solidly planted in the market, but it also keeps them motivated to make even better burgers. We've been open for 12 years, so I'm pretty happy that the customers are still there. We get new customers, we still get our loyal customers, we haven't lost our fan base. There are people who still write about us, I mean 12 years after with no advertising. We basically don't spend for for advertising or advertorials, but it's the people who write blogs, it's the people who talk about their burgers and who share our burgers to new customers that, you know, that uh, inspire us to, to keep on moving and hopefully to open more branches. Well, we, we still want to keep that neighborhood feel. It, like, like it's a homey shop wherein you could always um, rely on uh, good burgers. I mean, purchasing good burgers. Uh, we want to be remembered for convenience and of course that we are a healthier alternative to, to your regular fast food.